All right, let me tell you a story about a guy named T-Pop. T-Pop started off as one of those people you instantly feel comfortable with. You know, just an ordinary, hardworking barber who genuinely loved his craft. Cutting hair was more than just a job to him. It was his way of giving people a confidence boost, a fresh start. Every time someone walked out of his chair with that swagger, he'd feel a buzz too. T-Pop loved being part of that transformation, watching his clients light up as they saw themselves looking sharper, fresher. That's why he got into barbering in the first place. It wasn't just about the money, it was about that moment, that confidence. But there was something that bugged him. Why were barber tools so darn expensive? Every time he went to buy a new set of clippers or a simple styling product, he'd find himself staring at price tags that seemed like they belonged on sports cars. Clippers cost as much as some people's rent. He couldn't shake the thought. Why couldn't there be great products at prices that real barbers, guys like him, could afford? As time passed, t Pop's skills grew, and soon he became a master barber. And that's when it hit him. If the products he wanted didn't exist, why not make them himself? A few guys laughed it off at first, thought he was crazy. t Pop, stick to cutting, mate! But t Pop couldn't let the idea go. He wanted to make sure barbers, whether they were just starting out or had years under their belts, had access to the best tools, without those wallet-crushing prices. So he made the leap. But launching a brand wasn't exactly a walk in the park. See, as soon as T-Pop began designing his first products, he started feeling a kind of pressure he'd never felt before. The big players in the industry, the Goliaths, started paying attention. You'd think they'd be friendly, but nah, these guys saw T-Pop as a threat. It started with whispers, little jabs from some well-known names, saying things like, Oh, his stuff is cheap for a reason, or stick to cutting, kid. But T-Pop had a head on his shoulders. He was smart, and he didn't let it phase him. He'd just double down, work harder, stay focused on his mission. And let me tell you, T-Pop had a hilarious side. Not many people knew this, but he was an absolute artist with a sense of humor. When he wasn't designing new products, he'd spend his time sketching these wild, hilarious cartoons about barber life. You know, the ups, the downs, the weird clients, the mishaps. He'd post these funny little drawings on social media, and the barber community loved it. He'd draw things like a barber fighting off clippers with a sword, or one about a client who insisted his mullet was the peak of fashion. His cartoons were everywhere, and barbers across the world were laughing, bonding, all because of T-Pop's humor. That was his way of connecting, making people feel they were in on the joke together, part of something bigger than just a haircut. But the journey wasn't all laughs. Along the way, T-Pop met some sketchy people. Folks who wanted in on his business, but not for the right reasons. They'd whisper big promises, flashy partnerships, money here, endorsements there. But T-Pop saw through it. His vision was bigger than quick cash. He wanted to make real change for the industry. To give something honest to the barbers who were just trying to make a living. To give back in the same way he had always done with his clients. His brand was growing. And as the profits started coming in, T-Pop didn't just pocket the money. No, every dollar he earned went straight back into the business. He'd spend endless nights in his workshop, testing new prototypes, fine-tuning every detail. He wanted his products to be the best, not just cheap, but genuinely high quality. And he was tireless about it. He'd laugh, crack a joke, draw another comic, then get right back to work. He was becoming this legend in the barbering world. The guy who'd come from behind the chair, fought off industry giants, and still had time to make people laugh. And guess what? TPOB's brand started taking off. Fast. Barbers all around the world were talking about it. The products were affordable, the quality was top-notch, and T-Pop kept showing up, being authentic, being funny. He wasn't just another faceless company. People knew him, felt like they were friends with him. And that's what made the brand unstoppable. Now, the big brands couldn't ignore him. They kept trying to trip him up, smear his name, call him out. Some of them even launched similar-looking products, hoping to edge him out. But T-Pop wasn't having it. With his quick wit and knack for calling out nonsense, he'd laugh off their attempts. His fans loved it. They'd rally behind him, loyal to the core. And it didn't hurt that T-Pop had the brains to keep getting better. Every time they'd try to outdo him, he'd already be 10 steps ahead, launching the next big thing. T-Pop's Clipper brand is one of the fastest growing in the world. He's built this empire, and he's still not done. His journey, it's only just beginning. He still sketches his cartoons, still loves making people laugh, and he's still every bit that humble barber who just wanted to make people feel their best. Now he's got an entire movement behind him, an army of barbers who know his name, who believe in what he stands for. So next time you see a fresh cut and someone who just seems to glow with confidence, maybe think of T-Pop. Because to him, it's never been about just a haircut. It's about making people feel like their best selves, whether that's in his chair, with his products, or through a laugh shared over a cartoon. And you can bet he's out there drawing his next funny scene, dreaming up his next big idea, ready to take on the world.
I want to just mention this because it's really important to know. TPOB isn't just any brand. It's a whole movement, and it's led by a guy who knows exactly what it's like behind the chair. T-Pop started off as a barber himself, dealing with the same ups and downs we all do. From the clients who don't tip, to the ones who smell like they walked straight out of a gym locker. And, of course, those picky ones who inspect every single hair you cut. But here's what makes T-Pop different. He looked at this industry, saw how overpriced and overhyped everything was, and decided to change it. He wanted to create tools for real barbers, price for real barbers, and built to make a difference. He's created a brand where the focus is on community, quality, and actually helping you succeed. No smoke and mirrors, just good products, honest pricing, and a vision for making barbering better for everyone. TPOB is always on the lookout for ambassadors, true barbers who want to stand up against the overpriced nonsense and join forces to make barbering great again. If you're tired of guys like Jeezy, you know, the one who borrows money and conveniently forgets to pay it back. Or the bocios of the world who pitch a dream but are just cashing in on hardworking barbers. Well, TPOB's got a place for you. So, if you think you got what it takes to be part of this community, reach out and let them know that Toad sent you. Together, we're building something real here. A lifestyle. A family of barbers who are in it for the right reasons. Because t -Pop isn't just a brand, it's barbering done right. Alright, here's the truth. We're all just out here grinding. Trying to make a difference for our clients. Trying to give people a fresh start with every cut. And, yeah, sometimes it feels like the world isn't exactly set up to make it easy for us. But that's the thing about barbering. We don't do it because it's easy. We do it because it's worth it. When you're behind that chair, remember why you started. Every single person who sits down is a chance for you to make their day better. Some clients, they'll walk in with great vibes, ready to talk, laugh, and tip well. Others, not so much. But you're the one with the power to decide who deserves your energy. If you've got a client who's bringing down the whole shop, nitpicking, or just killing the vibe, it's okay to set that boundary. Politely send them on their way. Protect your space, your energy. You'll be doing yourself and your good clients a favor. Plus, a story like that is way more fun to share with other barbers than just another before and after pick. And don't forget, the world notices when you do good work with pride and integrity. You don't have to change your style or become someone you're not to be successful. Just be consistent, keep showing up, and give each cut your best. If you're loyal to the craft, keep learning, and stay true to your vision, things will fall into place. So keep at it. Make every cut matter, keep your space positive, and build that reputation. People will remember how you made them feel long after they've left your chair. And if you stick to that, success will find you. This is your journey. Own it, enjoy it, and don't ever let anyone make you feel like it's anything less than a calling. If you like the products you have seen today, you can find all of these on thepissedoffbarber.com. That's it for me today. If you like this episode, please drop a comment with your opinion and hit the like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace. And the TPOB Play Trimmer will be out soon. Really soon. Peace.